Good morning. Terrible news. Everything is more expensive. A lot more expensive. You're not just imagining it. The United States is undergoing record-breaking inflation. The biggest jump in prices in the last 30 years. Compared to an annual inflation rate of about 2%, this past year we saw a more than 6% increase across all industries. But that 6% is an average. Appliances are up about 15%. Foods like bacon and steak are up 20-24%. to 24%. Used cars are up 27% and gasoline is up 50%. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve has spent the past year trying to convince us that the higher prices are temporary. But this latest inflation report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics pretty much confirms that it's not and will probably last well into next year, if not longer. Now, the cause of most of this inflation is extremely simple to explain. Vaccinated Americans are spending again, creating a huge demand. But because of the supply chain crisis and the great resignation, the supply simply isn't there. So across the board, there's more money chasing after fewer goods. That's the simplest macroeconomic explanation and you're gonna hear that one a lot. But here's the truth. Inflation only accounts for a portion of these price increases. In fact, things should be a lot cheaper than they are. And that explanation isn't one of supply and demand, but of pandemic-driven greed. The real reason you're hearing so much about inflation isn't just because of higher prices, but because there's an aggressive effort to tie the higher inflation to political and economic change that would improve the living and working conditions of the middle and working class. Because that's their only argument against raising wages and passing social support programs. It's craven and gross and you should pay attention to how they're doing it. Let's start with the fact that even though the inflation and higher prices affect everyone, they actually affect the ultra wealthy the most. Now that might sound counterintuitive, but the thing is, inflation basically means that your money is worth less. So if you have a lot of money, you're seeing a greater decline in your purchasing power. And it's extremely ironic because part of the price drive is the direct result of workers quitting their jobs over low wages and poor working conditions. Despite the ultra wealthy and increasing their net worths by trillions and trillions of dollars while the working class lost trillions in income? Not a single penny of that net worth increase was actually used to balance the real economy. Instead, it's being hoarded in stocks or used for stock buybacks. And as costs rise, corporations and their owners are completely unwilling to shoulder any of that cost or touch any of their record-breaking profits to offset the increase. So consumers are seeing dramatically higher prices than they should, even during this spending boom. What's worse is that this partially self-caused and sustained increase is being used as propaganda against the working class to deny them the economic changes they deserve, like an absurdly long overdue minimum wage increase which, by the way, should be $27 an hour, as well as demonizing the already inadequate efforts to prevent the working class from completely disappearing into abject poverty, like the stimulus check, extended unemployment, and especially the infrastructure bill. After almost two years of obscene profits and net worth increases generated entirely by sacrificing tens of thousands of essential workers and funneling hundreds of billions of dollars directly into the pockets of the ultra-wealthy, the real economy has been completely abandoned in favor of boosting the economic health of about 10% of the population directly at the expense of the other 90%. And the inflation that we're seeing, although driven by the vaccine boom, is largely the real economy responding to this unprecedented transfer of wealth. The idea the idea that we can't raise wages or commit to social spending for the working class after doing both of those things full throttle for the ultra wealthy isn't just propaganda or disinformation. It's craven disregard for people who desperately need help. So yes, inflation is here and it's bad, but the only way to fix it is to pay people what they're worth and help the millions who have been driven into poverty by the one-sided pandemic recovery. Otherwise, we're just hemorrhaging what little we have left. Thanks for watching Good Morning Bad News. If you want to see all of our scripts and sources 100% for free, or if you like this channel and want to help support us and get this mug or these stickers as thank you gifts, you can find us on Patreon, the link's in the bio.